Hey, wait a minute. That looks just like the thumbnail, except without the words on it. There we go. Much better. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today, and welcome back to Lone Oak. This is our season's Let's Play. I figured I was like, you know what? I can't get away from this. At least not today. Maybe tomorrow we'll go back to doing our normal thing with the, the crazy big farm. But today... We got work to do because it's harvest day. Not only is it harvest day, we're going to make a little bit of money and we've got to collect some stuff as well. So we have two contracts that we have completed already. One, boop, and two, boop. That is $2,113,000 right there. We are out of the hole. Oh yeah, we've actually got a little bit of money now. We can pay the workers to actually do all this work for us. Goodness gracious. Let's put this, uh, you know what, we'll just put it right here because as soon as we harvest, we're going to throw down some more fertilizer and uh, get, a, get something else planted in. So what can we do today if we were going to plant? Well, let's check it out. Soybeans. <laughs> Soybeans and cotton. And I'm not doing a darn thing with cotton. You better believe that. What we're going to do here is we're going to plant soybeans in every field that we're harvesting today, which is two fields. Once that is done, the game plan anyway, is to go in and then replant either wheat, barley, oats, canola, something like that. That's the game plan anyway. Wish us luck. Are you stick the... Bruh. Not only is your... Oh, no, no, we don't want to do that. Not only is your head through the thing, the food's over here. Like, if you're going to do it, just... You, you an idiot. You, you dumb... You, you dumb pig. <laughs> Let's jump in. What do we got? We're right beside field four now. What I'm going to do is we are going to, let's see, going to hit a headland. Make this a little bit easier for the worker because I know the worker is going to need it because at the end of the day, what are they? Workers. Yep, they are workers and they're not going to do a very good job. So we're going to do that. We're going to help the workers out just a little bit. Now, there is one thing. And I've wondered this. I've talked about it, but I've never actually done it. So this area right here, this is all free land because we own this. Don't believe me? Check this out. All the way up at the top. Boom. This is land that we own. Now, it's not a whole lot, but I feel like if we went around the entire map and we planted something like... If we go around the whole thing and plant just a row of soybeans, do you know how much money we're going to make off of that? It's cheating, I know, and I don't even care, not even the slightest little bit, because you on DJ's channel now. <laughs> we ain't doing it the right way. We're going to do it the wrong way. The fun way, baby, the fun way. Let's drop this down and turn it on. Sunflowers, that is what we're supposed to be planting. Let's double check and make sure that we're not messing this up. We're supposed to be doing sunflowers, I assume. Sowing sunflowers. Yeah, yeah. Can't be pulling a uh, <laughs> an NBG over here, a new boot. We can't be doing no new bootness over here. So let's, uh, it's about this. Let's hit these headlands. Just one down, one back up. That's all we're going to do. And then I'm going to hire a worker on this. Hopefully they will get it done for us. At least get part of this done for us. That way we can get back over and start harvesting. Headlands are done. Worker is hired. We should be good. Let's double check this. Make sure everything is good to go. I think everything is good to go. There is only one thing that I'm a little concerned about. Is down at the other end, the worker making this turn. Let's go down here and let's check this out. Just see, is this going to be an issue? Or is the worker going to do just fine? There's a whole lot of area here for them to turn around. So I think the worker is going to be okay, especially having this grass field to our right right here. Let's see if we can speed this up just a little bit more. There we go. So this is the only part that I'm expecting the worker to get messed up on. But hey, whatever happens, happens. Now let's bump around and let's see what we can do back here. So there's the, har or the uh, tractor. Good. Here she is. We have not used this yet. It's been so long. We're back and we've got it. Now, this is the modded version. So we have a uh, an in-game version of this harvester and we have a modded version. This is the modded version, the one where you have to take off 
the part of the header right here that does the uh, the canola. Well, I'm pretty sure we've got a canola field, and we're going to have to use that. So let's see. Let's go through here. That is not us. This is us. The canola field is the far field. So we might as well just go ahead and do that field first, and then we'll rock back through. We'll do this first field. Out in the middle, out in the open. Eh, no better place than this. Let's get hooked up. And this is where the cool part is. So if we drop that, that right there is the part that we need to do canola. You don't need it for any other crop, just for canola. Most of the time, this part right here will come you know, on and on or on and off automatically. Not here, not today, not now. That part does not. There's another thing. This is not a modded version. This goes six miles per hour. And there ain't a darn thing we could do about it. I just really wanted this one. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're going to be around here a while. So let's rock it! You want to hear something dumb? This worker planted this area for us. They didn't go the right way. They didn't plant in this area. They planted over there. <laughs> That's not even the right area. So, yeah. Idiot right here actually did something for us. We don't have access to this land. It, this is the land that I'm... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Did, what did it do? Fail the mission? Let's see. No. Active. Field 4. Sewing. Come on. You could do it. There we go. Hire worker. Don't be a moron like the last worker. Did it really plan over there? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, what's well, not showing it? However, don't pull that out. I think that it's real obvious that it not only planted over here, but it did two passes. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's do this. We've got the cart out and we're jumping in. Hopefully it hasn't filled up by now. It has been saying that it's almost full for a little while. Oh, going too fast. Set that first click six, is that right? First click of six. I haven't been carting this slow in a long time. Gotta tell you what, DJ don't like it. He don't like it one bit. He's unhappy. He's changing the camera a lot. Why is he doing what he's doing right now? This is just getting out of hand at this point. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Hey, but this is working well though. Doing the uh, using the workers like this, kind of cutting this end off right here, and we'll just sit here and wait for it to go. Oh, guess guess we're going forward now. And it is almost done. There it is, ten thousand liters, and we've hit a pole. Perfect. Let's get uh, and we've hit a. You know what? It it wouldn't be one of our videos without it. I don't try to do stuff. Oh, shut up. I don't try to do anything stupid like that. It just is what a helper. E has not completed their task. Where are you? Why are we having such an issue? Every time we turn around, you are causing problems. And I don't like it. Not at all. What's the issue here? You just scared? You're not doing it? This should be an easy field to do. The worker is being a moron right now, and I'm not happy about it. But you right here, doing good. There you go. Hire a worker. Do better. Quit screwing around. Screw around too much. No screw around in shop class. Well, let's see what we've got here. We've got a wild worker driving a brand new ish John Deere. Worker lifts up the rear, backs up just a hair. We'll very likely say worker has finished task you gonna do it you're gonna finish your task <laughs> uh, no you know what 
they seem to be doing okay. Let's see, are they going to do it? Are they going to say workers completed their task? Because you're real good at that. Uh-huh. The one time I watch you turn around down here, you do it right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Speaking of the worker doing it the right way, they have just barely gotten the rest of this line. And probably about right there is where they're going to start missing some. Yeah, there they started missing some. That's okay. We'll come by and clean that up. What I'm going to do now, because we've kind of got this straightened up, and we've got a much longer side the other way than we do going this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back once it, once we get this uh, let's get this guy unloaded. We're going to come back and square this field off. That way I can send him the other way now. Now if you guys don't know where we're at, we're on field eight. And field eight is kind of taken up by this plot or this uh, plot of trees right here that we are going to attempt to save money in order to buy. Well, not that we're going to attempt to buy some kind of foraging machine. No, he's going through. I'm going to have to fire him as soon as he gets out here. Let's see if we can run through. Don't block the worker. Hop in. Don't do it just yet. Back up all the way, please. Back up all the way. Good. Fired. Yeah, out of here. Yes. Yeah, we could send them on, but I'm not going to do that. And let's go ahead and turn that off. What I want to do now, like I said, we're going to square this off. We're going to do this together. So I'm going to find what appears to be the longest side, which is about right there. So what we are going to do, let's go ahead and drop this down. Well, get up to it and drop it down about right there and just square it off. That way the worker, worker doesn't look around like a, like a crazed moron going, man, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, but I'm going to go this way. And then y'all can tell me if I was right or wrong when I'm done. They're always going to be wrong every single time. Is it just me? Or does this look really, really good? Like the, the harvesting pattern and everything on this harvester. Okay, let's hire a worker. Let's go in here. Look at that. There's something about this. I don't know if it's the crop that's here on Lone Oak. I don't know if it's the crop going into this modded header. Maybe this is the way it always looks, and I'm just going way too fast to be able to see it. But this looks really good. Like, really, really good. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Now, when we get down to the end, I'm going to do the exact same thing to this little plot right here on the right. I'm just going to square it off, and then I'm going to send this worker back down the straight side right here. That way, it should be good. Now, uh, for the logging stuff, for everything that I'm planning on doing with the logging side of things here... I am going to probably have to wait because I, I want to buy the harvester. I want to buy it. So in order to buy it, helper F's completed their task, you moron. Uh, we're going to have to really spend some money, like 200 plus grand on a new piece of kit, which is good because I know we can make that money. I know we can make it in a couple days, especially after selling some of this harvest, but... There we go, hire worker. And let's find the moron. All right, you know what, I'm not even gonna move it. I'm just gonna hire a worker. Okay, so as workers completed their task, move forward just ever so slightly. Look at that. That's gotta be something we fix. Come on, guys. I'm driving back over here. We've got our first load of canola right here, 91%. Uh, not too bad. Uh, I am not gonna be giving the pigs this. At first, I was planning on it, but we're not gonna do that. We are gonna sell all crops and then the money that we make from all crops, we will then use that to buy pig food. So we will always buy pig food. Yes, that may not be the best way to do it, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Because if I can make more money by selling different crops, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then I'm just going to go back and buy the pig food. Because they eat a whole lot. So that's what the game plan is. But I got another game plan. So there were a lot of contracts, a lot of seeding contracts... A lot of just contracts in general, tons of them. Here's my game plan. If we can lease another harvester and run, and, and it's actually the guys that mow my yard, IRL, like for Rizzle for Rizzle, uh, I've got a company that I hire to mow my yard. I have a very small yard, but they come and they do it and they do a great job. Now you could probably do my entire yard in about 30 to 45 minutes with a push mower. But they don't bring push mowers. Nope. They bring these massive, big old riding mowers, zero turns, and they do it in about 11 minutes. 
with three dudes. They have two guys mowing and then one weed eating. And when they're all done, they all have uh, the, the um, we call those the blowers, <laughs> leaf blowers. And they, they clean the place off. It looks phenomenal. But if they didn't have those two mowers, it would take them 30 to 40 minutes maybe to do it with just one push mower. That's what I was going to do. I mean, I could buy the darn thing after four times paying them. But still, this is not me complaining about having to mow my yard. <laughs> or not, which I'm not. What if we got ourselves another harvester? One of these guys. Just lease it. Don't buy it. Just lease it. And then use it to run around and get all these other fields. Whenever it's time and we've got a bunch of harvesting contracts. Because the money that we can make. If we're running two harvesters and we're just running up and down fields, picking picking nice squared off fields and just running up and down, up and down, we could make some serious cash. It's going to take a little bit of an investment up front. However, I think the payoff is going to be extremely worth the investment. It's just a thing inside my head. Crazy things happen in there all the time. This is no exception. I'll be thinking about it. I'll be thinking about it real hard. And I think if we're going to do that... A pair of Massey Ferguson's might be a good option. There's a reason that they might be a good option. And let's take a look at them. Boom over here into harvesters. These guys right here. 8,600 liters. It's not a lot, but it's not a little bit either, if that makes any sense. Uh, of course, we've got other options in here as well. Uh, we got the Fent, for example. We have one of those. But again, it's the same thing, so it is what it is. So what if we had that, right? Well... I've got headers in here for that Massey Ferguson. I have a header that I have made. Let's see if I can find the darn thing. There it is. So I've got one that'll run 18 miles per hour. And we can get that done pretty quick. Let's bump around and make sure this idiot had not messed up. And uh, how, how far along are we? 77%? All right, we're getting there. But if we were able to do that and run through, we could get some stuff done and get it done quickly. Just a thought. Again, crazy things happen in my head. This one's no exception. Let me know what you think about that. Not much more to do now, at least on the canola field. We do have a whole nother field. I'm pretty sure it's a wheat field. Let's go in, double check it, just to make sure. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, that's a wheat field. I know that color. Let's rock through. We got a little bit more, like I said, to do on this one. We've gotten a decent amount. The thing is, canola pays pretty darn well too. Uh, we'll definitely get more wheat because you get a lot more wheat. Obviously, it pays less, but you do get straw as well. So there are some good things and some non-good things. All right, so this is showing us that there are little spots that are still growing. And I wonder about those little spots. So these pop up every once in a while. It's just like ghost, uh, <laughs> ghost beans, if you want to call them that. Uh, that's a farming term right there. So we got a little bit. Let's see. Let's boom out. So they're invisible. Yep. See right there, we got just a little bit, but it doesn't seem like they're they're like one liter patches. So it's not actually giving us anything worth our time. That wasn't even one liter. So we're gonna call it there. I'm not gonna do anything more with this. Again, this whole field is going to be turned into a soybean field. Field 8 right here. Field 16, as soon as we get this harvested, we'll be down in 16 doing that. <laughs> as soon as dude up in 4 is done, being a little moron, we'll be good there. Plus, don't forget, we've still got corn in 18, and we've got root crop. We've got sugar beets right here in 27. I'm going to do that a different way than I've ever done any crop, or any sugar beet crop here in farming simulator I've never used this other piece of equipment before so i'm very interested to see how it goes we'll hold that off a surprise at least until tomorrow in game contract on field four finished go 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 collect it collect it fired god you suck <laughs> let's collect and get out of there ninety three hundred dollars that was the hardest I've ever worked for $9,300. So the moral of our story today is don't trust workers. Do what you can, but don't do it all. And um, rock and roll. <laughs> With that being said, that's going to be it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And also, I am doing a, at least right now when the video is released, I'm still doing the Q&A. 
of the Google Stadia and Farming Simulator. So let me know what you guys think down in there. Let me know in the comment section below. I will also be posting a community post as well, so check there. And that being said, hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!